Yo, 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 another guitar lesson. We're going to finish up that music theory, uh, just kind of that series I've got going here for the last lesson here. We're going to focus on chord progressions. So we've gone over the notes, we've gone over scales, chords, and now we're going to just take a look at chord progressions. So I'm going to keep this simple. We're just going to focus on seeing it from the major scale perspective. Of course, there's minor chord progressions as well, um, but we're just going to focus on the major. So basically, what's nice about the chord progressions are that they're just taking the same information from the scales and we're just using the scales degrees to create chord progression. So for example, let's say I'm in G and we know if we've studied our scales and we've put some time in here, we've got G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, AKA one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, so if we build a chord, so the chords, like in the last lesson, in lesson three, we talked about building chords off these notes. So a chord progression, simply, we can just pick out some, some of these and just check it out. So for example, popular progression, I'll show you a few popular progressions first. So like one, six, four, five, extremely popular. So that would be G's the one. And E minor would be the six. C's the four. D's the five. There's the six. So that's what that sounds like. And that's going to sound like that in every key, um, relatively speaking. So this is a really great way to train your ears. So for example, let's say I did one, six, four, five in the key of C. There's that one. Uh, oops, four, my bad, five. So you can see the relationships are the same. So this is how a lot of musicians are able to pick out chords and songs using their ear because you start to recognize a lot of similar patterns, right? So um, another chord progression might be uh, just a one, four, five progression. So if we're in G one, four, let's go back to one and then five. That is all over the place. Maybe then the four, one. So um, play around with that. It's a great way to write music. So, you know, you could just decide, well, let's see what happens if I go from a one to three. That's, there's four, back to one. That's a pretty common move as well. Or just like one, two, five, one. I mean, you can you can play around with it, um, and this is a a great way to analyze music. And again, it's basically a way to train your ear. So just taking the steps uh, from lessons one, two, and three, applying them to chords, recognizing that you can move not just with single note lines in the scale, but you can move with chords. Okay, so 
So I hope this lesson helps um, and hit me up with any comments, any questions about um, music theory in general, how to apply it, how to get started, that kind of thing. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Peace.